G'day guys, Sean here from Street Machine Magazine. Today we're in the studio, film set studios in Oakley to be exact, with our main photographer, Chris Thorogood. He's done over 100 covers now, and today we're actually going behind the scenes to do a cover shoot with the man himself. So, follow along with us, let's check it out. Hi, I'm Jim from Clayton, Victoria. I've got an XY uh, GT mock-up here, Pro Street Look, Twin Turbo Coyote uh, package, built by MPW uh, Performance and Fab in Kaysborough. Uh, Cameron from Rosebud Panels painted the vehicle. Um, the vehicle was bare metal 20 odd years ago. We decided to do it again, start from scratch, and Cam was a man. Blew my expectations out of the water. Both guys did, Adam and uh, Cameron. I bought the car uh, when I was 16 years old, 22 years ago. Um, it was a white rust bucket, Fairmont, 302 car with burgundy interior. Parents freaked out when they saw it. <laughs> what, the, what the heck's this rust bucket, basically? It went on to have a few builds after that. Some of the builds were uh, 351s, and then the final one was a 393 stroker. It was a nice car, 600 horsepower, but I felt like the car needed more. Got used to the power, I guess, and just wanted something a little bit more. The setup now is a twin turbo um, Coyote engine. It's a 5.2 litre Predator block, sleeved billet crank, standard head, standard block, built by RPG racing engines in America. Standard cams. I just uh, wanted something different. Uh, new technology, something that would be streetable and raceable at the same time. We've done chassis work, tunnel work, tubs, roll cage, fire system, everything's custom on the vehicle. Adam just, when he saw the car, I said to Adam, can you do this package in this vehicle? He had a quick look at it and he goes, yeah, easy. That was his words. And I couldn't see how it would be easy, but he did. He's got the turbos and the guards. He just had a vision in his head where he shaved the firewall, made it all fit. He, he's done something really cool with a cooler that's never been done before in an X-series Ford or Falcon or Fairmont. It's just a cool looking engine bay, isn't it, eh? George Liris from KB Prestige did the engine bay and the body and paint was done by Cameron at Rosebud Panels. We initially were gonna just do a quick blow over to the car. Cam wasn't happy with what was underneath paint once we stripped it back. So we bare metal the vehicle again and Cameron just absolutely done an amazing job and I can't believe the time frame he did it all in and, and the, the workmanship that, that presents itself today. The car's running a standard GT interior in it. You can see from the centre console the racing shifter is mounted on an angle which was all Adam's idea from MPW. I rolled up one day, and it was a big gaping hole in my center console, and I said, what are you doing? And he said, don't worry, I'll fix it. <laughs> I couldn't say how it'll fix it. Could, I couldn't see anything, any vision at all, and he just, at the end of the day, he's just blown me out of the water, and I come back one day, and he's 3D printed a GT cover, <laughs> which has gone over the shifter, and I just couldn't believe it. And then they also done probably about 50 different versions of it the trans brake and the two-step buttons built into that cover. It's just amazing. Again, I was pretty particular with what I wanted the Haltech screen to be mounted like, and I made Adam's life a bit difficult. Um, again, he got it done. He, I wanted the uh, screen mounted off the column, and we argued back and forth, and again, I won, and Adam 3D printed the cabin, oh, well, 3D scanned the cabin, I must say, and then printed off a bracket to suit and make it work the way I wanted. That's the interior we have today, yeah. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Adam. I didn't know Adam. 
he was recommended to me by two people. I looked him up, he was a Holden workshop type of guy. I thought, nah. And um, went and saw him, rang him up, said, Adam, I've got a car I want to build. It's a Ford. I said, are you interested? And he said, come down now. So I went straight down there, spoke with him for an hour, and he made me feel so comfortable. Um, I knew he was my man straight away. I didn't even bother looking anywhere else. So thank you, Adam. You've absolutely blown everything out of the water. I just can't believe the car it is today. Highly recommend Adam. Cameron, thank you so much. You've done an amazing job as well in a short period of time that Adam put pressure on you to do so. And thank you so much. I'm really happy with the paint job. Uh, the team at MPW also, fantastic guys, always there with anything that I needed. So thank you so much. RPG Racing Engines, uh, I was really worried ordering a motor from the other side of the world, but you've done an amazing job and thank you as well. My wife for uh, allowing me to do to this build, I guess. Uh, Frank that recommended the Coyote engine. It was his idea and I read up on it. So thank you, Frank, Sammy, uh, for being by my side and taking calls and whinging and whining and getting ideas and this has gone wrong, that's gone wrong, what do I do? And Sammy, thank you so much for being there for me. Uh, I'd like to thank Michael Tamaris as well uh, for restoring some interior parts. Uh, thank you so much, Michael. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed what we did, and um, we'll show you some shots of how it came out. And you can also go and buy this magazine on shelves now. <laughs>